Today I'm treating BJ the turtle. Um, she's brought in today because she's been lethargic. I think she might be egg bound, so we're gonna take some radiographs and find out if that's what's really going on. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, we got 12 eggs, got a dozen eggs. Gotta get them out. Turtles can become egg bound if they don't have a proper environment or the right substrate to dig a hole and lay their eggs in. This is very common in captivity. We're going to treat her with some oxytocin, which is similar to Pitocin, which is what they give women to go into labor. This is the turtle anti-biting. <laughs> Do not chew the doctor. All right, Ooh, there you go, it's all done. Uh, I really want BJ to be as comfortable as possible and give her something to dig and lay the eggs in. It's more of a natural substrate that would incite them to lay the egg. So I've sent Tom out to get some sand for BJ to lay the eggs in. She's just gonna do it in a cage somewhere, so we're gonna replicate her nesting habitat as close as possible. Dr. Keller thought she'd be more comfortable in a bigger space in order to move around to lay her eggs, so we gave her a box full of um, some, like, you know, sandy dirt. So hopefully by the end of the day, she'll have laid her eggs. Usually it takes a little while, a couple hours or so. So we'll help check on her periodically and see how she's doing. I'm trying to cover up this turtle to uh, give her more of a sense of security so she will be induced to lay her eggs. You coaching her breathing right, Tom? What's that? Are you coaching her breathing properly? I know nothing about that. <laughs> I don't even watch that crap on television. <sighs> Tom will monitor BJ throughout the day 